Okay, so my brand new under five max completed its first big print. See, it's finished. And this is an upscaled version of one of my best selling products. I just scaled it up. I didn't redo it. I probably need to remake it a little bit because it's a little chunky. Um, let me talk about, I did a short about this yesterday, but the video quality wasn't great, especially since the sun was in my, it got in the lens and everything. So if you look at this right here, this ripple that ripples out, I saw that while it was printing. Um, I didn't notice it though until it got to about there, but let me see, let me try to catch it in the light. There we go. Um, and I wondered what the heck was causing that. As you can see, I pretty much maxed out the 400 by 400 millimeter build volume on this item. And I did that as a test intentionally because I wanted to see how well the Ender 5 Max would handle it. Um, so when I saw that, the first thing I did was felt back here. And when I did that, I discovered, let me see if I can get a better shot of it now. I mean, you see that little cable routing thing that's there? I didn't see that at first. <laughs> and this clip was dangling down in the frame and interfering with the print head in that section. And that's what caused the um, issue. Let me see if I turn off the light. If it makes it a little bit easier to see. Oop, turn off the light. There I go. All right, there we go. You can see that clip right there. Yeah, I did not, I did not, <laughs> I did not see this little retention clip. And this cable should go through there to keep it out of the way. And actually, there's also a hole here, which I did not route it for. Thank you, Joe, for telling me about that. I will redo that and route it up through that hole so it's even flatter against so it's not over the frame at all. I'll do that after I finish the video. Um, my initial impression of the E5 Max is it is awesome. <laughs> it really, really is. Um, I've only had it for three days. This is only my first print on it. Well, my second print on it. I printed out the Nebula camera mount that it comes with. I have a Nebula camera on order for it. They actually already have the holes pre-drilled and they give you the screws to mount this guy to use a Nebula camera mat mount. So I have a Nebula camera on order. When it gets here, I will install it. Since this printer is in my secondary print room that's across the hall from where I normally am during the day, that camera will come in handy to monitor. And I do have TapLink um, cameras that I was using to monitor my CR6 SEs in here, but they're not set up right now. And I figured I'd go ahead and get an, uh, the Creality Nebula camera since it's really set up to, to handle that. Now let's look at the rest of the print other than that issue. Let me, uh, okay. So I had to pause there so I could use both hands to actually get it off. One thing I've noticed is when you max out the flexible build plates, they are very hard to flex to get off the, the, um, off the printer to get the print off. Um, I actually have to slide a, um, something underneath here and lift, to lift it up because these magnets are really, really strong. Um, the E5 Max comes with an epoxy plate, which I love the Creality epoxy plate. Some of my printers have them and they always work very, very well. You can see this first layer came out really nicely, nice and smooth. I watched it lay down part of it, <laughs> and it came out nice and smooth. Some I made some marks when I was getting it off of there. But uh, in general, it printed really, really well. Let's see if I can stand her up. The top surfaces look nice and smooth. The backs look good. A little bit of um, maybe a little slight under extrusion back there. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to have to examine it later. Um, but this is my first 
400 by 400 by 400 cubed printer, my first Ender 5 Max, and only my third Core XY printer. So um, I'm going to do a much more in-depth video about the E5 Max after I've been able to use it for a while. But so far, it was a little bit tricky to set up. Having a helper would definitely make that easier. Um, the only other thing I don't like particularly much is the runout sensor is over on the side here instead of in the print head. Uh, my uh, high combo and the K2 combo, they both have the runout sensor in the print head, so they don't waste very much filament. I had I did run out of spools. This this took a little bit more than a full spool of, of filament, and when I came in, this much filament was still in the tube from the print head. So it it loads and unloads the same way that the E3 V3s do, like my pluses do, um, which means you end up when it, when it detects it's run out, you still have filament all the way in the PFT. PFTE tube into the print head. So that's a nice size loop of filament. It would be nice if all of the Creality printers would would switch to the runout sensors in the print head. I just think it's a more efficient use of filament. Um, and for this being a newer printer, I kind of thought it was going to have that. So I was kind of surprised when I saw the runout sensor on the side. Um, but that did work perfectly since, I, like I said, I did run out of filament. <laughs> Um, this print actually would have been done yesterday. I don't know how long it was waiting for me to add filament because I, I didn't notice. But, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but first impressions, this is a great printer, especially if you need a bigger print volume. Like I said, I have customers that have asked me for larger versions of my, my display shelves. Um, this one I'm probably going to redo a little bit or maybe just do, design a new shelf specifically for this size print bed. It worked, but if I make this a little bit thinner, it would increase. It would decrease the print size, and it doesn't need to be this chunky. <laughs> I, I can redesign it a little bit. But anyway, that's my first impressions on the Ender 5 Max. Like I said, I am going to be doing more about it once I get um, some more time with it. So follow my channel for more, or follow my page, 3D Printing um, Dragonfly on Facebook and I'm Lorianne Brown on YouTube. So yeah, have a great day.